Okay, gang, welcome to the stockpickprofits.com live market update. It is Monday, January 28th, 2019. Had to double check there to make sure we're on the right date. Um, let's get through the legalities before we do anything else. It's right there in the disclaimer. Past performance is no indicator of future performance. We are not registered investment advisors. Nothing in this show should be taken as an offer to buy or sell any security. Um, always consult a professional before making any investment decisions. Let's just do a quick wrap today because uh, we got some big earnings. It's going to be a busy week this week. We started off with Caterpillar this morning. They missed, uh, took the market down pretty hard. Uh, then the video piled on, right? And they uh, warned. And then that just kind of picked everything up. Uh, but, you know, am I the only one that's noticing that it doesn't seem like the media knows the difference between a red day and a sell-off anymore? Uh, of course, we were pounding the table. Even big old Jim Cramer came out and said, if you take that NVIDIA warning to heart, guess what? Guess what? You should be selling all your stocks. So in the last two months, that is his second call for selling all your stocks. Uh, we'll see how things go in about a week from now, right? Uh, we'll see how they look. Uh, now, look, it, it's really, really, uh, today was much about to do about nothing. Uh, even the spider, uh, you know, the chart, we kind of went down, we touched that 261.98 right around there, and we bounced from there, and it was up all the way. Uh, we kind of got into that channel. We took out the high of the day in the end, and if you look at that last five-minute bar, it was just a screaming green bar. Now, that doesn't mean anything going into tomorrow, right? Uh, we could reverse it. We could get some bad earnings and stuff like that. But really, um, what's going on right now is your consolidation. We're up 11% in five days. A uh, little 1% retrace uh, makes sense, right? If you look at it, our VIX uh, tried to get back over 20. It actually spent a few minutes over there, and it came right back down to 18. We're still in that trickle down, so the fear indicator is still not telling you what the pundits are telling you. Now, the sanctions and stuff for it, uh, Venezuela were released uh, a few minutes ago, and the lines are drawn, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but the big thing is we've got some big events coming up this week. And so that's why we'll just do a quick report and then let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, uh, get some rest and get ready. We opened up a play today. We opened up a play in the spiders. Uh, we bought it when it was down around that uh, bottom level. Uh, you know, we're trying to stay ahead of the trade. And we've been talking about that ever since we've had this huge December sell down uh, and capitulation in on December 25th. Like I said, we've been up five weeks in a row. Uh, we're up about 11 percent from that bottom. It makes sense that we'll have little consolidations like they are right now. But there's no reason to go into a panic. OK, uh, you don't want to buy into top. So we try not to buy into those big green days. We got a little opportunity today, so we took up a spider play. The Home Depot play that we're in uh, is still looking real good. Home Depot closed uh, easily um, over 179. It was down in the one, uh, it got as low as, what was it, 177.95. Uh, it got pretty low this morning, and things were looking bleak, but we knew that uh, it's due for a correction, and we knew our technical levels, and it followed true. So Home Depot is another one. Had a nice, huge green bar there at the end. So look, gang, uh, we've got a lot going on this week, right? We've got Apple. We've got Amazon. We've got uh, Microsoft reporting. We've got Chevron. We've got Exxon to close the week. Um, I believe AKS and Whirlpool just missed, uh, judging by their stocks action. Whirlpool was down about 5% when we... Uh, uh, came on camera. But look, uh, tomorrow we've got big tech starting to roll out and let's see how this affects the market. Let's don't make any uh, assumptions and let's don't make any rash judgments on one day of trading. Uh, we also have a Fed meeting and they also do the television show or uh, television conference, whatever they want to call it, uh, where they speak directly to us. And we'll see how that goes. This is a new thing. And uh, they're going to try it out at the Fed. And we'll see how that goes. We have a GDP number rolling around. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's don't, because of one caterpillar miss and one red day, lose track of what's going on in the overall picture. Okay, gang, that's the best advice we can give you. Now, you keep hearing talk about retraces. And you hear us talk about retraces, too. That's 
always the potential for a retrace. Um, and that's why you watch CNBC and when we're down about 100, 200 points, they go into freak out mode. They think that that's just the way it works. They're not traders. OK, uh, they are journalists or whatever they're calling themselves. They are TV personalities. Um, so they're not traders. So you could have had the retrest today, right? Uh, we came back and we tested that correction level and we bounced right off of it. Maybe that was a retest. Uh, us traders know you keep up on your technical analysis and you keep your charts going and you'll never get behind the trade. So look, gang, let's call it a show. Um, we're rolling into the big part of earnings tomorrow and we'll have a lot more information, but it's a big week with information. Like I said, we actually opened up a new spider trade today. Um, and we're going to play that. We want to get a little index, uh, exposure, uh, in case we do get some good earnings from Microsoft, it's been all bad news, right? All Apple news, every, all the news is bad news. Let's see if we get some good news here for a change. All right. Um, so look, it's, we're in full swing for 2020. The big news today, whether it affected the markets or not was of course, Howard Schultz from, uh, 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 Starbucks fame. He 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 started Starbucks and built Starbucks from one little coffee shop in Seattle, and uh, he's going to be running for president as an independent. That is scaring the hell out of the Democrats because they remember Ross Perot, right? All right, gang. So let's call it a show. Um, we're still bullish on the market. We think it was just a little reconsolidation, just a little consolidation today. We're up about 11 percent over five weeks. Uh, it makes sense that we would uh, pause a little bit and uh, digest a little bit. So let's see how these earnings uh, hit the market tomorrow um, and we'll play it from there. We'll be back with another show tomorrow after the uh, markets trade cautiously. Follow your technicals. All right. Thank you so much.